integrating B2B, B2C, marketplace capabilities, you know, all, all of this stuff for those relatively new to, to retail, you know, it can seem a little bit daunting, but how can doing all of these uh, help businesses rapidly adapt to shifts in the retail market? Yeah, so I think first of all, it's not like all brands need to have it all, right? I think right. that's the first point. Um, it's it's understanding where, for example, the marketplace model makes sense to you. That's a very particular model. And we were talking about waves before. We're also seeing a wave about marketplace, which doesn't necessarily mean this is going to be successful for all the ones that are trying the marketplace, right? That's That's kind of the main point. But I think the marketplace model specifically gives you a lot of value in the way that helps you helps you increase like a brand, right? It helps you increase your portfolio, your catalog without having the cost of manufacturing products, of shipping products, of stocking products, because at the end you're just getting the products from someone else. And what I think that a platform like again VTEX can really add on this is the fact that you can become a marketplace like very, very fast in terms of features itself. Of course, you need the business side and you need the products and you need the agreements with the sellers and so on. But from a platform and software perspective, it's just one feature already natively connected to the B2C. So this is the reason why many of our customers that are starting as B2C, they are already marketplaces, which means they have at least one product that they don't, they don't manufacture, they don't produce, and they don't ship. And it's coming from someone else that can be an, an external brand, that can be a drop shipper or whatever. Yeah. So I think at the end, the message is you really need to, need to be prepared to switch whenever you need it. And the other reason is talking more about B2B and B2C, we hear more and more B2B businesses telling us like B2B needs to be much more similar to B2C than ever before. Yeah. yeah. Which which kind of brings this idea that you cannot think on separate products, you know, like you cannot think on separate softwares to manage B2C and B2B. It should be easier than that. It should be give you the possibility to again change if you need to from one to the other in an easy way and in a very um, cheap way as, as well. Yeah. And, and I'll give you just um, a last example to finish on this, but we recently closed a, um, a client on the home improvements kind of vertical. And it, it was very kind of funny because we ran a process, a sales process for like six months, completely focused on B2C. And the last one was like, okay, we just presented the project to our private equity fund and now we're going for B2B. And I was like, what? And they were like, yeah, because you know what? Like, we don't have a lot of room to grow on the B2C. Like, that's what the whole world is experiencing right now. So the private equity is putting some pressure on us on show like long hanging fruit. So let's do the B2B. That's something we don't have right now. We only do it offline. So let's go for B2B. And again, like from a software perspective, we were ready because the platform can do B2C or B2B natively yeah. and from the same kind of product. So that's, that's one example I wanted to share with you, Greg. 